Well, welcome to part three in our series on managing up. Today, I want to remind you that your boss is just as human as you are. And what I mean by that is your brain on an ongoing basis is scanning the work environment, scanning the team dynamics to know, to, to confirm that you are valued, you fit in, you belong, others respect your opinions and contributions. And often we're looking to our boss for that affirmation and approval. We don't typically remember that, oh goodness, our boss's brains are doing the same thing. Our boss also needs approval and affirmation. They need to know that we value them, that they fit in. We view them as part of the team. We often just think they already have this sense of confidence that is unshakable. And the truth is, because I work with leaders all the time, that they are often doubting themselves and wondering what their employees think of them. And so I heard this interesting quote the other day from Dr. J.J. Peterson on the Business Made Simple podcast. He said, instead of trying to be in the spotlight, try to be the spotlight for others. So where we typically look for our boss to shine the spotlight on us in our work, I want to challenge you to think about being a spotlight on your boss. How can you elevate to them? How can you build them up? How can you make them look great? And how can you communicate to them that you value them, you respect them, you're grateful for the work that they do? That is our tip for managing up today. If you do that, the connection and relationship that will be built there will be one of trust and belonging that will really fuel success between the two of you moving forward.